Ishan is joining us live from Godhra. Ishan, every single time during the elections in Gujarat, Godhra is mentioned. This time around, it's even more prominent uh, because of the fact uh, that the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case were, uh, you know, let out. Apart from that, anger over the candidates that the BJP had chosen as well. Do you see that sentiment resonating or on ground? Because in several other constituencies, uh, you know, for the voters, it's not about the candidate in that particular constituency, but the party, say the BJP versus the others uh, that is in the contest. Well, absolutely right. That has been the main image. When, wherever we have gone, uh, people know that they are, you know, those who are staunch supporters of a particular party, they know who they want to vote for. And when it comes to BJP particularly, these voters have, uh, you know, said that why they have chosen, or people have said why they have chosen BJP, they just know that they are voting for the Bharatiya Janata Party. They may not have certain reflections with that particular person fighting that particular assembly. Uh, but remember, when it comes to Amadbi Party, they are very confident that the magic that they showed in Punjab, Punjab after Delhi, that is something they want to reflect in, uh, you know, this particular place. But we haven't seen that reflect on the ground while covering and going through several places because I have covered Punjab, I have come covered those elections. That was a different, complete wave. But that may not reflect on the ground. Given the fact that Arvind K. Jival and other key players of Amadmi Party are claiming that they are very well within the fight, at the same time, BJP is completely dismissing their role. Uh, you know, uh, let me show you, let me show, let, let me, let me just go and talk to some voters who have come here. Uh, you know, this lady. <laughs> Uh, is being, uh, you know, taken by uh, two other people who have come with her. Uh, you know, she has come. Ye pata ye ki, uh, aapne inko vote de kya umar hai inki aur kitna mushkil hai inke liye vote dene ke liye. Inko sitte sitte rik ke aspaas hai uski umar. To yahan tak lane mein aapko kitni duvida hui hai koi? Haan, bhot takle mein. Bahar se lana parta hai. Also, uh, when she entered the polling station, we saw two people carrying her. Actually, you know, there are generally wheelchair arrangements made by the election commission, but we didn't see that particular wheelchair around this particular place. So all the elderly men who came here and braved all odds and came to vote, because this is uh, not just, you know, uh, this something which political parties across the party line have been appealing people to come out to vote. We saw around 50 plus percentage till 4 p.m. today. We are expecting that number will go up. But uh, remember at polling stations, the numbers are going down as the sun is setting and the polling is coming to an end. Uh, this polling station was full earlier with people. Now we can see just one or two people at th these three centers around me. Uh, you know, women participation we have seen in urban areas increasing. There are a lot of women who have come out to vote in these particular areas at this where I, I have been to a couple of polling stations and, uh, you know, there I have seen women participation is there and women are coming out even in rural areas to cast their vote. Uh, but see, uh, this elderly lady being carried by uh, two other people uh, because she came here facing difficulties and facing all odds to cast a vote. Uh, remember, there are attempts and being made by the Election Commission to make sure that these polling stations are friendly to elderly people and people with differently ab able people. Uh, but despite that, there are still challenges that, uh, you know, needs to be overcome. And that is why, uh, you know, Election Commission is in a process of trying to revamp the system so that okay. there could be a change and people like her could come and cast their vote. And we, when we talk about the competition, wider competition, let, I will mean, just end with that, that the BJP has dismissed, at least in words, that the Ahmadi Party is not their contestant and they are fighting with Congress because AAP, they feel, will not be able to mark, make its mark. Absolutely. But in the last five years, a lot has changed. Remember, in 2017, the BJP had been reduced to a double number seat, 99 seats that the party won. But back then, there were several challenges of the agitations that were taking place. This time around, the challenges are completely different. Rishabh, uh, the Aam Admi Party has come in this time around, and that's one of the biggest challenges for the BJP, apart from the factors of anti-incumbency. But it seems like in the last five years, the biggest challenges of the BJP, the party seems to have overcome and then come to this. Uh, in fact, so, Ali, let me uh, come to you on that. For the people, especially with the voters there, what is it that they have in mind when they cast their ballot? Because they are deciding the future of Gujarat for the next five years. Yes, as only the one hour is remaining, the number of people pouring into vote is reducing. Let's try and talk to people over here. Aapka naam bataiye. Bharti Pandya. Aapne jab vote kya, kya chal raha tha dimag mein? 
अच्छा चल रहा था एक बार वोट देना चाहिए जरूरी है डेमोक्रेसी के लिए वोट देना बहुत जरूरी बहुत जरूरी है अब हमें ये बताइए कि तीनों पार्टियां जो है कैंपेन करिए सत्ताईस साल से भाजपा का राज है गुजरात में इस बार तीन पार्टियां लड़ रही है भाजपा कांग्रेस और आम आदमी पार्टी आप कैसे सोचती है कैसे देखती है हम भाजपा भी चाहिए भाजपा आना ही चाहिए भाजपा आना ही चाहिए लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी जो खुद की जगह बनाने की कोशिश कर रही है भाजप चाहिए चाहिए आम जी जी इनसे भी जानने की कोशिश करेंगे आ, ये क्या कह रहे हैं सर आप बताइए आपका नाम क्या है दो मिनट में जरा जाके आप, आप जब वोट करने जाएंगे तो क्या होगा दिमाग में मतलब क्या लेके चलते क्या इश्यूज को लेके किन मुद्दों को लेके आप वोट करते वोट तो अभी फॉर द सेक ऑफ नेशन जो होता है इंटरेस्ट है अच्छा तो यंग वोटर्स भी हैं हमारे साथ इनसे जानने की कोशिश करेंगे आप वोट करने जा रही हैं लास्ट एक घंटा बाकी फर्स्ट टाइम आप कर रहे हैं क्या है दिमाग में आ, जो फ्यूचर के लिए जो अच्छा होगा उनको ही हम वोट करेंगे उनको ही सपोर्ट करेंगे तो फिर देखते हैं किसको वोट करना अच्छा हमें ये बताइए कि इस बार अगर इलेक्शन को देखें तो तीन पार्टियों में मुकाबला है आम आदमी पार्टी कांग्रेस और बीजेपी लास्ट टाइम के अगर हम वोट को देखें तो बीजेपी के वोट घटे थे भले ही उनकी सरकार आई थी इस बार कैसे देखती है आप इस वॉट एवर इट इज बट बीजेपी इज दी ओनली थिंग अच्छा महिला सुरक्षा की बहुत बात करते हैं गुजरात में आप युवा है महिला है सेफ फील करती हैं आप ओके सो डू यू फील सेफ इन गुजरात बिकॉज इट्स नोन फॉर द सेफ्टी एंड इट्स ऑलवेज सेट सेट दैट गुजरात इज अ सेफ स्टेट या आई फील सो यू डू फील सो हियर वी हैड यंग वोटर्स हु आर गोइंग टू वोट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड दे हैव शेयर दर एक्सपीरियंस विद आर सेंग दैट दे डू फील सेफ एंड दे आर क्लियरली सेंग दैट दे आर गोइंग टू ऑप्ट फॉर बीजेपी बिकॉज दे हैव वर्क अ लॉट बट वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग टू पीपल सिंस मॉर्निंग एंड समवेयर आम आदमी पार्टी हैज ऑल्सो मेड इट स्पेस इन द माइंड ऑफ पीपल पीपल हैज स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ चेंज सो नाउ इट विल बी वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम बीजेपी JP had 99 seats and this time it's a triangular fight so it will be very very interesting to look after what will be the results for BJP Congress and Aam Aadmi Party absolutely well uh, rishab uh, coming to you on that note low voter turnout is it going to be a worry for the BJP that was the discussion after the first phase polling uh, in Gujarat now in the second phase uh, the voter voter turnout seems a little better than what it was in the first phase how is it impacting the parties and more importantly now with uh, you know less than 1 hour to go for the polling to end do you see more and more voters now coming out to cast their ballot well pratibha i'll give you a 360 view of the polling station that i am at uh, you'll find very less voters now you know the uh, amdabad is the lowest voter turnout as of now hardly around 44% till 3 pm with hardly 45 minutes left actually 40 minutes left for polling the voter turnout has been very less remember last time around there were 27 such seats where the difference between the first and the second candidate was less than 500 and that is a cause of worry for all the parties because uh, you know uh, when the margin is less when the voting percentage is less it can swing any way and that is the reason that all the parties are trying to send seen? more and more voters to polling booth but sadly uh, towards the end of election there were people here in the morning there were queues here in the morning but by the by the time you know 3 o'clock 3:30 people have the numbers have gone really down we have few voters with us let's try and talk to them and understand why this lo low voter turnout ma'am you are here to vote it's only 44% in uh, amdabad voting why are urban population not coming out maybe there is a reason that why uh, people may might be thinking that it is not that much important uh, now nowadays generation needs to know the importance of voting so i i re really request our generation to please come and vote uh, still 40 minutes left and uh, it's an assembly constituency so uh, not uh, far away voters are coming in uh, close by voters are coming ma'am what do you think that the voter turnouts are, are so less like there's so uh, very few people coming in true uh, maybe people are aware about it and uh, pata nahi it's a working day maybe people are turning out less और मे बी एग्जाम टाइम्स है तो कम आ रहे हैं क्या है पता नहीं बट एक्चुअली जनरेशन आपको आना चाहिए आई डोंट नो व्हाई यू गाइस आर नॉट टर्निंग आउट टू वोट और व्हाट इज गोइंग रॉन्ग यंग वोटर्स आर एक्चुअली लेसन मॉर्निंग वी आर सीइंग हियर प्रतिभा द 
senior citizens have come in, the mid-age people have come in, but the first-time voters or the young voters, specifically at this uh, polling station or po polling station that we have been to, to Police stations in Ahmedabad, the younger generation have not turned up for voting, and that is definitely a cause of worry. Remember, election commission came up with an appeal to the urban voters that come out and vote. There were constituencies which saw 10% less polling as compared to 2017 in the first phase, uh, like Jamnagar North or Surat East or uh, Rajkot uh, West. But this in uh, second phase also, till 3 p.m., it was 50.51% with Ahmedabad as low as 44% and that definitely is a cause of worry for even the political parties right now. That's right. In fact, the election commission had said that the urban apathy continues. Uh, as of today, the uh, at 3 p.m., 50.51% is a voter turnout that has been recorded, so slightly better than what it was in the first phase. Uh, Ishan, in the constituencies, and this is one of the criticisms that came in from the election commission as well, that this is urban apathy. In the cities, the number of voters is extremely dismal as compared to the rural areas. Uh, in Kodra, what are you looking at? You know, generally it's also considered then that when there is a lot of anger or uh, when the people want to come out in huge numbers in support of the party in power, that's when the voter turnout is much higher. Uh, well, first let me directly go to this uh, girl who is a first-time voter. Uh, you know, we have seen that there is less participation of youngsters in uh, choosing their franchise or going to or going for polling. As a youngster, this is your first vote. How did you first feel like as a voter today? And second, that uh, what do you think that youngsters are staying away? Uh, youngsters should vote definitely because I think in coming generation we are only the ones who are going to stay here so we should vote definitely and I will say to all this all of the youngsters that go and vote today because one vote also matters a lot uh, so. so as a youngster what do you think about your issues in your constituency? Or what are your aspirations that your local MLA or local representative should be able to I think उनको अच्छा काम करना चाहिए जो public के demands रहती है जो roads हैं वो ठीक होने चाहिए education से बात करें because you are a youngster so education is must be a prime importance so what do you think education wise should improve of course education system और better हो सकता है जैसे management होता है colleges में वो अच्छा नहीं होता इतना तो वो अच्छा होना चाहिए और school में सब अच्छा होना चाहिए कोई clean लेना सोने चाहिए toilets में and all यही है so as you heard, uh, you know, this youngster saying that there is a okay. need uh, for the governments, you know, as I said earlier, that there are, there are, there are spect uh, you know, spectrum of people say having different opinions and different, uh, you know, take on what they really want. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, let, let's also speak to one of the voters from this constituency. Sir, what do you think about voting today? What do you think development? What do you think about voting in which way you should vote? Why development? अच्छे अच्छे कासी डेवलपमेंट होनी चाहिए हो तो रही है लेकिन और ज्यादा होनी चाहिए क्यों लगता है आपको कि यंग जनरेशन जो है वोटर से ये पीछे हट रहे हैं यंगस्टर्स का पार्टिसिपेशन थोड़ा कम है नहीं ये तो पता नहीं ओके ऑल राइट क्या लगता है लेट्स लेट्स ऑल्सो स्पीक टू सम यंगस्टर्स हो रहे ह� आप ये बताइए एस ए यंगस्टर आपको क्यों लगता है कि लोग पीछे हट रहे हैं थोड़े वोटिंग से यंगस्टर्स का कमी क्यों है और आप क्या सोच के आज वोट दे रहे हैं ये तो आपको पता नहीं लेकिन हम जो भी है ही दे रहे हैं वोट लगता है यही है देता है वोट देते हैं तो वोट देने से आपको लगता है कि उन्नति आती है कुछ what do you want to know about it? So Pradipa, as you heard that people are having different views about different things. That's right. So it's a very important message that the voters are giving out that you know come out and cast your vote because this is the day you get to decide who is going to govern for the next five years. Thanking Rishabh, Surali and Nishan for joining us with those voices coming in from Gujarat.